like everyone had to wear some gigi. Flour, okay. sugar, or okay. flour, yeast, and donut cutters were like the things that you could not so keep funny. in stock. That's how we know we survived the pandemic, yeah. okay? <laughs> inviting our friend Brooke from Female Foodie Yay. and today we're going to be making what Brooke? Giant glazed donuts inspired by the Windmill Village Bakery in Montana. Please have a secret ingredient if you didn't catch it last year. Your mind is going to be blown of what you're going to be putting in here but I think this is going to be your new summer favorite. Crowd pleaser all around. So addicting. Let's make them! That's why I love this chef alarm. Like, I know it sounds silly because this is what I was telling these guys before you came. I'm like, this is like, I, the Thermapen will forever be like so, so wonderful and convenient. Yeah. But, but this one's better. I love the like the versatility with it. You can make candy, you can fry oil, you can leave it in your oven, you can roast your chicken, mm -hmm. you can get your turkey, you can put it out on the grill. Like this probe can take all of those temps, but then You've got one thing, and you can set it to a, a temp where you're like, hey, I want it to tell me when I'm at, say if you're roasting your chicken, you're like, I want it to tell when I'm at 160. So then I can like, okay, it's alerting me to know that I've got five more degrees before. That's so ready. nice, you don't get want to get ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah also, in this case, your oil doesn't Because how many times do you check it? You know, like, oh, I'm so... Yeah. Well, well I have a deep fry, so I'm always like, is it at 100 degrees? Yeah. Is it 320? Right. And it goes, it... It you changes know. so fast, yeah, it's it nice does. to have something in there consistently. Well, and you talk so much about having the thermometer. The crazy thing is, it's like, okay, yeah, you could check it once, but having something that's left in there like this, a lot, because once you put your colder dough in there, it your drops. temp drops so fast. It does. Right, and so being able to be like, okay, I've got to help. Obviously, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to go like 360 so that it like goes right. down. And, uh, and we can talk about this too, but like, I usually am like, I feel like every person's range, totally. the more you fry, the more you know, like, this is kind of where I need to keep it so it can maintain X temperature. Yes. Because every range. Where do, you know, where do you normally keep yours? Like, like medium? Just above medium, yeah. usually. Yeah. Like, yeah. medium high is like too hot, but like just above medium is like the sweet spot. It's weird. Well, because of my, like, fast nature, I'm like, Put it up to high, but then it gets so hot so fast, and it's really hard to regulate because once you put something in there, that stove is like, wait a minute, yes. what's going on? Yes. So medium feels like it's more accurate, more consistent, and yeah, I'm like in between medium, medium, high. Yeah. yeah. We've got our ingredients. We're ready to make some donuts. Brooke, I can't tell you how excited we are. Like you've really hyped these up, and <laughs> no, pressure. No, 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 no pressure. no pressure. So that you live up to the hype. Yeah, yes. every day. Yes. Oh, yeah. so, yes. I'm honored. Okay. So, I mean, you guys have done all the hard work for me because all of our ingredients are ready to go. <laughs> but basically, what we're gonna do is just take this starchy potato water, which is, you know, the potatoes are the secret ingredient in the recipe, so the, the starchy water is the part of that. Yeah. Well, I, thought, I had to laugh because I have a friend who's like, mom adds potato flakes to her roll recipe. So oh, like, really? there's gotta be Why something in that, there though? where it's like the potatoes, the starches just help keep it stable and delicious. Yeah, so. yeah, it, mm -hmm. it, it, yeah it makes them like kind of moist and fluffy. And I mean, I, if you taste like a normal donut and a potato donut side by side, a good potato donut like this one, like you can tell. You're like, okay, yeah. what's in there? What is that? So this is super easy. Like we're just gonna get this bowl and we're gonna throw the yeast in. And then we're going to, I mean, you, you, you can like, Kind of just swish it around. You could not like this recipe is so forgiving. Okay. okay. This is not like croissant. I'm gonna heat up your milk while you're stirring. Okay. So, so you're making sure that this is still a little bit more. Yep. So you want like 110, 115 degrees okay. for now activate yeah. your yeast. Yeah. yeah. You don't want it too hot though, of course, because right. then it will kill your yeast and that'll be a huge waste yeah. of your ingredients. So mm -hmm. Heather's getting the milk. We're just literally dumping everything Dump else in. That's nice. So we're mixing like all the wet ingredients and the potatoes and then we'll add the flour. So you guys want to throw Yes, we love a recipe. Do you usually do this like in the stand mixer or do you like to do it by hand? Like what's your vibe? I usually do it in a stand mixer, but by hand is fine. Yeah. Like it's super forgiving. Totally. As long like if you have a dough whisk or something like this, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and honestly, yeah. I'm gonna switch to that now. Yeah. These are awesome. For, yes. 
bread or anything like this. Any kind of dough, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've done tests with them before on the dough whisk. Like, Works well. Yes, consistently. Not for whipped cream. Don't use it for that. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. a long... Oh, I did. Yeah. Was, you I did? did? It was a mess. Yeah, but, yes, I we would tested. not whip cream with this. <laughs> He, he tried to give up with it, and I was like, no, no, you have to go. You're seeing this through. It took so, so long. <laughs> Not worth it, right? No, no. Um, but yeah, no, this is great. So we've got all our ingredients here. We'll go ahead and add these potatoes, and this is about like a pound of russet potatoes. So all you do is you just skin them. You um, kind of cut them into like, you know, not cubes, but big chunks. Mm -hmm. um, and then you boil it until it's like fork soft. Yeah. It's awesome. really easy. So like you're making mashed potatoes, basically. Yeah. So okay. have you ever done it with a ricer? When you were, no. I was like, no. I was like, oh, the ricer's do, back. I almost Here we like, go again. Have you ever used a ricer? No. <gasps> okay, good. I don't think I know what a ricer looks oh, like. Oh, it's like that. In my mind, I'm like, ricer, ricer. So ricer. it's a ground with lots of little holes. And so it's supposed to create, like, and we tested it. We were very passionate about it this last oh, I love TV. the ricer. Um, I almost was like, oh, I want to try it with this. You're wanting to get these super smooth. Yeah, right? you want it fine, right? So yes. it's just like, I mean, when we have this dough, like, I always taste my dough. Yes. And you're not supposed to, like, eat raw flour. Like, raw this dough. this man is a I dough will lover. Eat any raw dough. But, like, I love it. it's good to taste it, too. It kind of is indicative of, like, what you're baking, but, like, it yeah. should be, it shouldn't be, like, oh, there's a chunk of potato. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, let's just maybe gradually add this in. We're adding the flour, and it's. And it is pre-measured. We did about pre seven and a half cups. So don't dump everything because I didn't use it all like okay. earlier when I tried to okay. make this. So and obviously, like anytime you're making a dough, it kind of depends on like climate, where you're at. We're in dry Utah climate. It's yeah. hot. Yeah. It's How hot. it was measured. Yeah. yeah. But in general, like you you should be able to stick pretty close to the recipe. Okay. Do you I feel like you can like Here we go. Do you feel like you can, like, okay. like you can overwork <laughs> the dough on your donuts? Um, I, I don't because okay. we're gonna, I mean, I don't think you want to work it too much, but sure. like, this isn't a dough where you're like, yeah, it's not like a it, quick bread or something yeah. that's gonna no. like fall. You said it was forgiving, so that's it is yes. forgiving. We love that word, and, and I mean, we're gonna be like, like vocabulary. rustic, yeah, yeah. Rustic. rustic and forgiving. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, we there are times we like to be technical, and then there yeah. are times we that's like good. to just throw caution to the wind. The next time you're making mashed potatoes, you should just save an extra pound. Yes. Oh, I like so that idea. idea. Or if you baked potatoes, that would oh, be same idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Heat it up, mash well, it. That's great. I don't know. Meal I mean, planning <laughs> at its <a> finest. <laughs> <laughs> Add donuts into every meal plan. These are potato ricers. I like so. have never even seen this. <laughs> so but if you handed me this, I would never be able to It, it kind of looks like a crazy contraption, but okay. again, like, so you can, like, change how thick you want it. So if you just want, like, a coarse one, you just move it to there, but if you want it really fine, you get it there, but... Okay, so for besides this recipe, what would you use it for? Yeah. Mashed potatoes. potatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. And then you just... You don't even mash them. No, you don't mash them. There's it cubes in there. Yes. Yeah. Very creamy. But you know, if you've over mixed mashed potatoes, they can get like sticky. Yes. Yeah. This gross. avoids like you get a really creamy mashed potato, potato without overworking the starch. So you don't get the sticky, pasty. Yeah. We, we've all been to those family functions where <laughs> someone makes the potatoes and you're like, this was mixed quadruple the amount right? of time. Yes. And way too much liquid. Yes. You can use them also for like making jams and. and Fruit as well. Oh, so, like, fine. Yeah. yeah. But we like a tool that turns its key. I've never seen one of these. They're the best. We taught Brooke something more. <laughs> yes. Woo! I learned something every time I come here. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we're like tapping it. It's a little sticky. It's what a teeny think? bit stickier than I want it, but honestly, it would probably be fine. I would just add a little bit more, just maybe. I don't know, a little sprinkle. So no pull back on your fingers. Like, is that what you're looking for? So if I tap it, because it's That's like a what I'm bit. looking okay. for, yeah. Okay. But you don't want it so dry. Like, it's a pretty sticky dough. And once we roll it out, we're going to have to, like, flour our surface, flour our hands. So it's pretty moist. Okay. okay. But get I would flour, say like... this is perfect okay. Okay. right where we're at. So. So from here, we're just going to put it into an oiled bowl and then cover it with plastic wrap? Yep, so we just take it, we get an oiled bowl, and I usually like to oil it pretty liberally, and okay. then we'll we'll toss it so it has oil on all the surfaces. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that as it rises, it kind of has that oil to prevent it from just completely sticking to everything. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. We just let it double in size. It usually takes about an hour. I'll just spray this pretty liberally. And then you just 
You could like use a bench scraper too if you wanted to, but I just usually use my hands. And you just kind of want to gather it in a ball. And then, here she goes. Here we go. Oh, no pressure. Okay. <laughs> I can flip this one too. I'm like, <laughs> how's your arm? Drop this. <laughs> I mean, I do have like an almost 20 pound baby, but oh. still. Okay. And then at this point, we've got a lot of oil in there, so you'll just, you know, kind of turn it. You can see where the oil kind of adhered to the dough. Okay. So that that should be good. Okay. Just, just gives it a little, and you could even spray it one more time just to go on top. Sure. Yep. Okay. Just get the sides and the top, and then we're gonna cover that and let it dry. Yeah, that's great. Okay. All right, so this is our dough now doubled so in size. Pretty. I know, and sometimes it can take like a little bit more or less time. It kind of depends on your kitchen. So sure. all we do, I mean, sometimes you read these recipes and you're like, punch down the dough, but that's really what we're doing. So should we do it together? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Feels like we're having like a little boxing moment. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so just punch straight hey. down. Like you could obviously use the palm of your hand, but it's not gonna be as fun. It's not nearly yeah. as therapeutic, that's for sure. So oh, that feels so good. I know. This and it feels perfect. And this this will rise again really quickly. So that's all you do. Okay. And then we're just going to I probably shouldn't have ruined our plastic. It's fine. We're gonna cover it again. <laughs> we're gonna cover it again and then just let it rise again to that same point, which will take usually about 20 minutes. Okay. So we're making the glaze and this is like as easy as it comes. Just powdered sugar, water, a little vanilla, and the best part about it too is like, if you need it to be a little thinner, you just add a little water. Mm -hmm. If you want it to be a little thicker, yep. just add a little powdered sugar. So. I love that. And you are choosing to make the glaze before we fry. Um, why is that? I, I, you can make them after you fry, but I like to have them ready because the place that I got the recipe inspiration <laughs> Sorry. We're having just a powder sugar up right now. Hey. I'll give you a little more water because I think you need it. Um, the place where I got the inspiration from this recipe, like I wanted to replicate their donuts and they take them hot out of the grease. They barely give them enough time to like kind of shut up. up and they put them right in, in the glaze. Tell me again so, where this where your, this recipe is inspired from. It's from the Windmill Village Bakery in Rivoli, Montana. It's like not even a town. It's How a, did you find it? Um, we, my husband and I spent a whole month up there, like, this is three kids, like, I don't know, five <laughs> years ago, yeah. four years ago, and um, my friend told me about it. It's between Missoula and Glacier. Have you been up to Glacier before? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if anyone that goes, anyone from Missoula to Glacier, there's it is the this, place like, to stop. oh, Life-changing. Okay, Spencer, you nailed it. <laughs> that is like... <laughs> I was watching someone yesterday, they said that just go for the danger pour of the vanilla. Don't measure Oh man, the danger, danger pour. pour. I was like, I, I love like that. that. <laughs> so this is like really good vanilla, so I'm not going to danger pour like this vanilla. vanilla. Come on. Chug it later. Yeah. Oh. So that's all you do. It's literally just whisking water and powdered sugar and vanilla. And now it's ready. So you want it to be very, like, very thin. This, in my opinion, is not very thin. It's perfect. Oh, no, I just mean, like, <laughs> this is thinner it's than thin. like a glaze you're gonna like, like kind of dunk in and, and put it upside down. It's not gonna stay. Like a pink or, you know, like a chocolate glaze. If you're I know thick, what you're talking you know? about. I feel like. This looks thinner than that. Cause this is gonna it's be like a while since I've made that. Yeah, you know what I mean? we, honestly, we could probably add like a splash more. But once we can get it to like this consistency, like we're, we're there. Yeah. Where- So just think very loose. It's very loose. It's very, I mean, just watch with the whisk, how I can lift it. And it's kind of, it's a steady yeah. stream. Yes. But it doesn't look like totally clear and translucent. No. I'm not like, wow, is there powdered no. sugar in there? Like we can, it's still a solid color. Totally. I hope that helps. No, that does. Yeah. Cause I just think too thick if you put the, uh, donut in there. It's not even going to get in there. It's yeah, and, and, and we, this this icing is going to, I mean, seriously, we can even have a little bit more water. This is like, it's just going to coat it. Think, coat it. Think Krispy Kreme donuts, yes, right? Yes. We can't. Like a waterfall. Yeah. Exactly. And I feel like when you put something hot into a glaze, it like melts it a little more. Yes. It makes it a little bit thinner. So I think this is perfect consistency. So even though these aren't like a classic glaze donut, the glaze is definitely. Gotcha. The glaze is classic. Yeah. yeah. So pretty. Yeah. So this, we're not going to Have you ever messed white. with like other flavors in there? 
Almond okay. or something. Maple. I have it. I maple. Have it. That would be good. Bacon flavor. No, every time I make these, I just want them as they are, but I've had a ton of readers do that. They'll, like, okay. last year people were writing and saying, like, I added lavender, or oh. I did, like, lemon, almond, so lemon. Good. Like, people were topping them with everything. So. Sprinkles. You can't be yes. sprinkle donut. You oh, can't be sprinkles. Yes. yes. I love that this is basic enough that we can add whatever. You, could, you could put literally anything, but I, what I would recommend doing is just keep this and then maybe set a smaller bowl aside so you can okay. test first. Yeah. You yeah. really don't want us to stay I know. from the class. Don't mess with a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Like in the no, 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 no. Brooke is a purist. She yeah, wants no, it as authentic to where she tried it. Like so. my husband's a maple donut guy so if he really wanted maple I would like get this and scoop a little out and and then that that maple. Maple. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what I would do. I mean, you could have like vanilla beans to this. Ooh, you, could, pretty, yeah. you could do anything. You could have food coloring. Oh, there we go. Should we cut our donuts? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do okay. It. One of the things, so before we jump it out, I love that you kept this really authentic and you're not you, like stuffy with a rolling pin or like you kept this really simple, which I think we can all agree that like sometimes we look at the list of ingredients and we look at the list of tools and we're like, oh great. I, ca I can't yeah. do this. Okay. But the one thing <laughs> that like is the donut cutter. The donut cutter is essential, and this is like this. Come to Orson Geeky, get one online. It's the three and a half inch donut cutter. We'll Great. talk about this a little bit the more we start like getting into actually making the donuts. It's forgiving, but if you want like the giant pillowy amazing donut we're going for, that's what you want. And of course, you obviously get the donut holes yes. with mm -hmm. this one. It's easy to use. Like, it's got a nice, not sharp, but like a nice. The edge is what keeps like, it kind of contained. Clean edge. Trust me, I've made plenty of biscuits and donuts. Like I'll just use my cup, and oh, it's yeah. not the same. Not the it's same. not the same, and especially with this dough, you want a nice clean cut. Yeah. So these are essential. Wow. Um, but yeah, it's it's you know we're just gonna like get your you know get a use a, a huge cutting board, huge like a large cutting board. <laughs> Or um, if you have a surface like this, this is perfect. And you're gonna need flour, because like we were talking about, it's a, it's a fairly um, moist dough. Okay. So you just dump it out, and, and Heather's right, like we're keeping it simple. This is a small town recipe, you know? So we're, we're keeping it fairly like country here, you know? And I just sprinkle the top. And then all mm -hmm. I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of form, kind of like when you make biscuits a lot of times when you just use your hands. Kind of are, you, are you worried about over mixing it again? Like if you were like trying to get this to a certain height or I just with it like that? I would try to not overhandle it. Like at this point, I would try to make the dough and then we can reform it just like when we're making biscuits, yeah. like with yeah. the rest. But I want to lay it down and just start cutting. Okay. So what we're looking for is about an inch to, I just used my fingers. Yeah, that's that's tall. Tall. <laughs> When you were doing it before, you're like, an inch and a half to two. I'm like, how did she just eyeball that? I am not good at fingers. Yeah. So yeah, this right here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, okay. like an inch. an inch, right? It's close enough. And so, I mean, you just want it like an inch and a half to two inches high. And that's going to give us the donuts in this recipe, which are huge donuts. Okay. Like, um, do you want me to do the corners? Or yeah. Start? Okay. Oh, that was even better. I love these. <laughs> <laughs> like donuts, I'm like moderately tempted by. These I'm extremely tempted by. Okay. <laughs> did I'm you, so this bakery, did you like hear about it from somewhere or did you just happen to come across it? I, I heard about okay. it. I have, so I actually used to work in West Yellowstone, Montana. Okay. Where I started Female Foodie. Um, and I have a friend that I met in the restaurant industry um, that lived in Montana for a long time. And she told me about this bakery that I had to try. So when we were up there a few years ago, she's like, go to the Windmill Village Bakery. And I was kind of like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm like, oh, check out a bakery, right? Was yeah, there. And yeah. And we go. I was by myself. I text my husband like, it was a huge donut there. Okay. And I was like, you're going to be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I took him back. I had hyped it up a lot. And then I, he was like, whoa, like, you're right. Are, you're right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your 
sounds great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the best one. It is. How did you know how to do that? You saw us do it? You like donuts all in? <laughs> do you cook a lot? And if it's like not a perfect shape, you can just flatten it a little bit. Yeah. You can just have a little bit. You eat as much as you want, no it's judgment for me. But I do think it's good to taste your doughs because the more you cook, the more you can, like if you're making a pizza dough, you can be like, that's right. Or if you're making yeah, whatever. That is good. You're like, any justification. Okay, so we've got all this leftover dough. This is gonna be awesome. You just kind of make a round. Now, let's talk about size because these are these are gonna expand even more when we okay. make them. Okay. If you're like, I just want a regular donut, go for more of like three quarters of an inch or an inch thick. Okay. And I'm gonna reflower one more time. But still using our same cutter. Same just cutter. Just we're not making them as tall. Yeah, same okay. cutter, just a little, um, like more shallow. I think that's such a great a point dough. for people to know that like you're not, again, like you don't need the two inch donut cutter and the no. three, like you can just make it less tall. Yeah, just make your dough a little flatter and this only needs to get floured, you know, every three donuts okay. about. Okay. And look at that, this is gonna be Ooh. just as an amazing of donut. The only thing that changes is the cook time. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just we'll probably cook quicker. Okay, and I think what you said is like two minutes each side for the big ones. Yes, so okay. the big ones are two minutes each side. Each side. These ones will be like minute, minute and a half. Okay, so super fast. Yeah, they'll cook quickly. But female foodie has evolved like through COVID and stuff. Yes. So what? Is, so how have you expanded? Were you doing recipes before? No. Then? Okay, this is my mom's yes. idea. Okay, thank you, Sai. Yay, Sai. 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 Like a lot of the, all of her ideas are amazing, yeah. but I was like. Depressed. I was like, restaurants are closed. Like, yeah. what is my life? Yeah. You know, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. And she was like, well, why don't you like feature recipes from like your favorite chefs or restaurants? And so I, I thought it would just be like a one or two week thing. To this day, it is our readers' favorite thing. So we do sometimes we get recipes from chefs, but most of the time it's like this, like inspired by a place that just either me or someone from our team has been to, and then like a random donut place in Montana. So I, I love that you were able to pivot that and make it so that we can all create these things. Cause there's sometimes where I'm like, I'm probably not gonna be able to travel to Montana. 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 And so to be able to experience those in a fun way, which then also gives you something where you're like, I'm looking forward to then. Like yes. if I'm ever around there, we have to stop here. Yes. So. Yes, and bringing it home is so fun. And honestly, I mean, I love these donuts and I'm like, a believer in how amazing they are, but I couldn't believe last year when I first shared this recipe, I could not believe how many people made these. Yes. We joked that like there was a, a shortage of yeast, flour, and donut cutters here because like these magic <laughs> everyone donut cutters. was like, I'm, I need donuts in my house. So we're excited to be able to recreate it for 2021 and just have you teach us your way. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, they're all ready. Should we fry them? Yes. Now? Okay. Yes. We've got the oil in there and we have our thermometer going. Do you keep a thermometer in the oil the whole time? A thousand okay. percent. That's okay. like a must have because you want the the oil to sit right around 350 for this recipe. If it's the oil's too hot, your donuts will get cooked way too fast on the outside and be going in the middle. Okay. If you if it's too low, it's not gonna taste good. It's gonna be like super greasy and have to sit in there forever. So uh, like that's a non-negotiable. This recipe like has Do to be made. Do not fudge with... those rules. Yes. yes. Um. So yeah, get a thermometer. Do you have a favorite one that you like to use? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just have like the um, Therma Pen that I use at home, mm -hmm. and then I have a candy making thermometer. So those are the ones that I use the most. But I love the Chef Alarm. So yeah, this one would be great. A deep fry thermometer, yeah. a candy thermometer yeah. is also perfect. Just something that can stay. Inside in there. the oil, so yeah. you're not constantly like putting it in, and because it gets kind of hot, as you can feel here, like right. it's pretty warm. Right. So the donut holes are gonna cook fast. Like, it's probably good. How okay, so we tell? want like a nice golden. I mean, this is pretty yeah. dark. That's well, gonna be so good. Those are gonna be great, and it's though these are thin, so we're not, you know, we have yes. we don't have to be as calculated about these because these cook pretty fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so oh, I mean, so good. they're not gonna like burn your hands off. They're fine. So I would just like Yum. toss them all in here. Look at that happy little boy. I know. 
I don't want to so eat this one I'm so bad. Like... No, I just am dreaming of which one I'm gonna eat Ooh. first. Okay, they're hot, but you know. <laughs> okay, so just kind of, I mean, You'll see, like, that's literally the perfect place. Look at that nugget. Spence, you did so good. Yeah, it wasn't too thick or too good. thick. Good. <laughs> that's what we want. And you can see, like, it's it has a white color, but it's and it's going to fill those cracks. It's going to fill the cracks, and you can see through it, right? It's okay. not this solid, like... We want to know there's a donut inside. Would you yes. ever just make donut holes? Not a cake holes? bowl. Like, oh, 100%. If you're, like, we're doing a party yeah. or doing something oh, with kids, totally, just get, like, a small little cutter. I mean, I feel like donut holes are almost more of a problem. Well, so. I feel like, you know, it's like, oh, I want to eat a whole donut, but then you start eating, like, no, I want four. But then mm -hmm. if you lose count of how many of these you're eating, it's like, it's fun. And it's only like added up to yes. one donut. Right? Yeah, exactly. I don't like this anywhere. Mm -hmm. Never. How is it, Ollie? No, I don't know of anywhere, yeah. honestly. <laughs> We're at a good temperature. We're at like 360. Do you feel like it drops a little bit once Always. you add the donuts in? Okay. Almost every time you go okay. for anything, it will drop yeah. a little bit. So that's great. Um, I just use my hands because I don't want to like ruin it. I love it. Yes. You can use tongs. No, because I think when you said it earlier, that with a tongue it's going to smash it more because you've got to grip it in one spot with your hands. You can kind of like move the pressure around. Exactly. So, As a matter of fact, I'm going to set this yeah. here and Thank I can use space. two of my hands and I'm just going to gently drop this in like that. This time. is our seven quart stove, which we've raved about this, the cast iron pans, but mm -hmm. this is going to maintain your heat way more than like a stainless pan, correct? Oh yeah. like. It's all about keeping the heat even and the same throughout the whole pan. So this is like, the best. this is what yeah. you want. <laughs> well, and it takes a little bit longer to get up to temp because I think some people are like, oh, my stainless pan heats up really fast, but it gives it more of a consistent way to control oil, which in deep frying, nothing worse than having hot spots over here and dead oh, spots over here. It'll so, run everything. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. If you're making like the full-fledged big donuts, it's going to take about two minutes per second. Okay. Oh, it's so, not bad. No, that's it's not too bad. Yeah. So we've got about a minute more, and it's going to get just kind of like our donut holes, like a deep golden brown, and that's just going to ensure that it's cooked all the way through. We don't want them doughy, and you can also just kind of go off of color too. Like if you're like, oh, they could use a little more color. Like these donuts are really moist, okay. so they're going to yeah. be fine. I'm always nervous that you're going to eat here. Oh, I'm going to eat that don't one, eat Oliver. The that's one's one, right? That one, that crack right there has your name on it. That's yours, right? You're gonna eat it? Okay, it's your bad. temperature is maintaining so well. It's great, right? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Stone. So, I mean, we're like just maintaining 350, which is so awesome. We've been cooking them for about two minutes, so we're gonna flip. So, you can see that dark, <gasps> deep color. <laughs> the shock. I mean, it's, they look it's so a, good. They're it's, gorgeous. This is like Talk about a tan line. It's like stuck paper towels underneath a For cooler. like easy cleanup. Sure. Yeah. But um, this and then is the oil can like drip off. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. The key the key is you want to give it just a minute to yeah. let the oil kind of drip off like you're saying. Yeah. Um, but at the Windmill Village Bakery, she hand dunks them and then puts them on this. So it's kind of dual purpose. We're getting close. I think we're almost there. Let's check the bottom. Okay. Oh my word. I'm going to wait about I a few wait. more it's seconds. Insane. I think we're good. Let's pull this one out that we took first. So you can kind of like let it sit there for just a second. Okay. And then put it on your cookie sheet. Look at that, baby. Well, I would say while this cools briefly, let's put three more in. Okay. And then we can glaze this. Awesome. Let's do it. That's yeah, a big really, one. Yeah. That's a big one. I couldn't do this kind of thing. Oh, oh, okay. wow. Oh, that's amazing. And lift it up. Yeah. Um, Connie and I spent a good fair time frying foods last year for like a whole month. We did. Oh, and so, so we're much really grateful food. that we can like stop with this one fried recipe. We're going to embrace this. Every August yeah. and share all our old ones. This, it was mind blowing how delicious and how. I think so we overcomplicate recipes and ideas like oh I have to have all these things but I mean thank you thank you for oh introducing gosh. this recipe to us and for this fun memory like I've now let's go to Montana right like how no um, trip there? girls trip no yes kids, right? yes let's just cruise on up there. all the donuts <laughs> yes no thanks for letting me be here I mean this is not only one of my favorite recipes just for the donuts, but like it's such a good one to friends, family, like yeah. I would say except for maybe the deep frying part, like kids can get involved. Ollie, Ollie was busy with other things, so yes. it was great. 
No, and, yeah. and you can kind of like we talked about, like if you're like, we want to do a maple glaze or put some cinnamon on there, whatever, like it's just so versatile. So, is your full video on, is it just on your Instagram or is it on your blog as well? Um, so I've got a full video demonstration on my highlights. Okay. Hopefully one day we'll add. I found no, I found it there. It was easy to find. So okay. I just yeah. didn't know if you had it. It's called else. donuts. Donuts. Yes. Yeah. The donuts. <laughs> but like, why? I mean, it, I made it the same way we made it today. So. And, it, and it turned out great. Yeah. Tell us what your Instagram handle is. Instagram handle is female foodie. And Our website is female foodie. Perfect. And this is the only donut recipe we have up there. And okay. you, you that says a lot. Yes. 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 Okay. So we'll have it on there, but we'll just forward it over to you. But yes. Did you love your donut? Oh, you didn't eat it yet. Let's go find oh, it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I eat it hot. Yeah. Thanks, Brooke. Yes. Thank you. We'd love to have you.